So this is the uh, parts for my uh, air cleaner. I'm going to be swapping out for my uh, Dyna Street Bob. This is for a uh, 2015 Street Bob. I got the Screaming Eagle High Flow something kit for the air cleaner. So it comes with this nice filter. This is going to be the uh, backing plate. This is the filter cover. That looks really nice. That goes, that gets screwed onto there. Comes with um, breather tubes, gaskets, and more hardware. Another plate. I'm assuming that goes on there. And the sock, in case it rains. And this is kit number that kit number. Step two is, Swiss thinks about working in the shed, is trying my tools. I got more up here. I got more in my truck. Trying. I like to lay out my tools like on a table, but I got no option for that. Except for that. Hmm. I might take that out. That speaker box, it's, it doesn't work. Throw it out, hopefully. I don't know how. It's, can't throw things out in the city anymore. Uh, and use that old heater as a table. Hmm. That might work. Take this. So I did go with my plan. There's the old one. It's coming out. Still got the plates and I'm sure there's a gasket back there. I got my tools all lined up over here. And I got the new one all set up over here. I'm gonna stop putting that space over there for the old one. That came in really handy. This is my old shop from high school, Marine Industries. We rocked back then. That was wicked, wicked cool shop back then. It cool shop back then. We had the best shop in the school. So yeah, it's getting there. Let's see how it goes. So I got the old one out. That wasn't too bad. Got it all out. Got the gasket off. It's all nice and clean. Everybody puts Loctite on the bolts. That's the new one. I was like, ah, I'll try it in there. I'll put the Loctite right inside the threads instead. That's my throttle body. <laughs> We're making progress here. The hardest part so far was taking out the original cover. For some reason that thing was on it tight. All right. So here's a quick little update. Trying to hold that washer behind this, the gasket in here perfectly. While installing that, I noticed that the washer kept moving. So I took the original bolts and put it in there just to hold that washer in place because the new ones have a thread locker already in it. And I didn't wanna put that on there just yet. It's gonna go on, but not just yet. So I'm gonna lock that up, get the plates on there and we'll see how it looks. So, me being me, not reading instructions, right? I'm just going over my pots real quick and I noticed these two little washers here. Yeah, so I was like, huh, that's all. Awesome. Where do those washers go to? After reading the instructions, I had to pull these little tabs off, right? The little breather, the oil breather. They go on the back side of that. Yeah, I gotta take it all apart again. So, Read the instructions. I am by far not a certified mechanic. This is just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> all right, we are on a roll here. I got it all mounted up. Oh, I always add black Loctite to it, even though it did come with some kind of yellow stuff in there. But this plate here, you gotta make sure that this notch is facing up. And, oh, it's hot, it's gonna be hot to see. But this one here is notched just for this one particular bolt. The other ones are not. Let's see, the other one's got more clearance. So, <clears throat> something to keep in mind. And I'm gonna add Loctite to this. And it looks like we're gonna reuse 
the factory screw hole uh, bolt to hold this all into place in a little bit. So don't throw it out. So everything's going good. Let me show you the progress that I got going on here. I mean, this is only an air filter. Yeah, it should be a nice, quick, easy install, right? Right, filter looks looking good. Missing a screw, right? It fell. And it just disappeared. Absolutely disappeared. Huh, everything was going good except for those that little two washers that I forgot to put on. But it, it's gone. It went into the black hole. So after looking for that missing screw, I mean, I'm looking everywhere. I found it. Yeah. Way over there. Far away from where I was working. How does that happen? All right, so that wasn't too bad. I found that screw. That was the hardest part. Uh, so that didn't come out too bad. I like the way it looks. Sorry about all the moving around. And it doesn't stick out too far. I don't think it's gonna interfere with the pedals at all. Let me get on this thing. Yeah, plenty of room. So I'm pretty happy. We'll see how it performs. I was told to <clears throat> put a uh, K and N air filter in there. Hmm. And this is the uh, sock. So I can do this with one hand in case it rains. So here's the finished product. Yeah, I had it running. Just wanted to hear it. You can hear the actual air being sucked in. Check it out, maybe you'll hear it, maybe not. 